you know, I want to hear the other guys say that too, so we can get these fights made. So, um, you know, it's definitely going to happen. I don't know when. I mean, it's not, realistic, it's not going to happen now. This fight is going to build up. I still got two belts on my side of the street that I'm looking to get, and it's way easier to make than a Terrence Proper fight. So, I'm staying on my side of the street. I'm going to get those belts and get those when I come three. When I have three of the belts and unified, then we'll go look at Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford, wait, wait till he get a belt. Yeah. He ain't did nothing in the world to wait to do it. You when he get a nothing. belt, when you he get a belt, nothing. you, you want to go over nothing. there. Keith Thurman want to go over there. And now y'all want to say, oh, I ain't fought nobody. But I got a belt now, so okay. why? Okay. Sean Porter got a belt, too. Also, oh, so now. Sean Porter got a belt, too. So why am so why, so why I go to Easy Road and knock Sean Porter out? <laughs> why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? Think it is, dude. Why smart. wouldn't I? You a smart man, but not that smarts. Bro, I'm going to crush you. I promise you. Up, Let's run it, man. Yeah. Everybody have a Merry Christmas. Everybody have a Merry Christmas. Oh, Thanksgiving. 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 You really gonna have a Thanksgiving. Hey. All right, man. Welcome to Watch the Fight Boxing Talk. This video is about Errol Spence taking the easy road. The big question is, did Spence take the easy road? Was it easy or strategic? I used to wonder why Spence never addressed that controversy. But his words are already out there, so there's no need to talk about it further. No disrespect to Terrence Brud Crawford at all. He is entitled to do whatever he sees fit in his career, and I would never knock him for that. He has my support and understanding to do as he chooses. This video is not to criticize Crawford in any way. This is just to address some of the narratives that the Spence haters spew. A lot of people reference Spence and Crawford's infamous encounter to make the argument that Spence avoided fighting Crawford, when in reality, Spence has maintained the same perspective and stayed true to his word that he wanted to focus on PBC first, which was Sean Porter, Manny Pacquiao, which ended up being uh, your Dennis Ugas, and then fight Crawford last. Why did Spence go the easier road? The easier route had nothing to do with being afraid of Crawford. It was about fighting the people that were easier to get under contract because it would be quicker to fight those fighters, not because Sean was an easier fight than Crawford. What did we learn about the easier road? We learned that Spence was absolutely 100% correct. When Spence fought Porter, it did not take multiple years to make nor did Spence have to pay Porter additional millions of dollars to get him in the ring. And Porter did not leave during negotiations to fight someone else. And what did Crawford do? Crawford took extra time with the contract to demand a guaranteed purse and whatever else he wanted in the contract. Again, I'm not knocking him because I understand that. But these things did make it more time consuming to get the negotiations done. Crawford had several phone conversations with Al Heyman and Errol Spence and Lord knows who else. So he really ended up prolonging the fight. Again, I'm not faulting him. I don't blame him because I know it was important to him. Aside from his contractual demands, Errol Spence decided to pay an extra $2 million to appease Crawford. Spence came out of his pocket just to get Crawford in the ring because Spence is more concerned with legacy than he is money. The money probably isn't as big of a deal for Spence, maybe because he's been earning satisfactory compensation most of his career with PVC, or he knows that he'll be comfortable and satisfied with the revenue that this fight is going to generate. That's likely why Spence wasn't tripping about a guaranteed purse, because he knew the back-end money would be handsome. That's my guess. On top of that, Crawford left the negotiation to fight Avenesian without giving anybody a heads up. So he was entertaining multiple options without being forthright and transparent to the more reputable company that was trying to figure something out that was fair and reasonable. He blamed PBC and his approach was unprofessional. Spence haters chastised Spence for doing the heavy lifting at PBC, even after Spence told everybody what he was going to do. But those same critics won't hold Crawford accountable for leaving negotiations very randomly and unexpectedly. Cool. Nobody can honestly and realistically say that Spence avoided Crawford because he vocalized his game plan to the public 
and he told Crawford to his face the plan to get through PBC and then meet up with Crawford after that. That's not ducking, running, or avoiding when he communicated that information to Crawford directly and to the media beforehand. I'm not dissing Crawford or calling him a duck, but I am highlighting his actions, and it's definitely a duck move. I don't think Crawford is a duck, though, because he made the Spence fight happen, and I understand why he fought Avenisian, and I support his decisions to do whatever he thinks is best for himself. The only issue is the way he did it. And even Spence would agree on that. Remiss if I didn't really ask you your feelings about the Terrence Crawford uh, fight falling through. I had Terrence Crawford on the last stand. And I got to tell you, he told me that he did everything he could to make the fight happen. Do you believe that? God damn it. <laughs> nah. But, man, if, if he did everything that he could to make the fight happen, the fight would have happened, man. You know what I'm saying? But... Unfortunately, he didn't, you know, if, and he went about it the wrong way. If he was just, you know, been on the up and up and just been like, hey, I've been talking to the guys. I'm fighting this guy for $10 million. It's an easy fight. I'm going to make this money right quick and I'll be right back. You probably let him do it. I'm not hating get your money, man. But, you know, the way he went about it and then, you know, trying to blame my side for, you know, messing up the negotiations, you know, I feel like that wasn't right at all. So, but, you know. Hopefully, you know, I can spin that block again and, uh, you know, go to negotiations and try to fight them because it's a fight I really want. So, uh, you know, hopefully we can make it happen um, next year. But uh, like Terrence Crawford said, I mean, you know, he wouldn't fight anybody. He want to fight the best. And that's what I like to hear. I like to hear fighters say, I want to fight the best in my division. I want all the belts. I want to be undisputed West Bay champion, things like that. That's what I want to hear. You know, I want to hear the other guys say that too so we can get these fights made. So, um, you know, it's definitely going to happen. I don't know when. I mean, it's not, realistic it's not going to happen now. Like, the fight is going to build up. I still got two belts on my side of the street that I'm looking to get. And it's way easier to make than a Terrence Crawford fight. So I'm staying on my side of the street. I'm going to get those belts and get those when I come three. When I have three of the belts and unified, then we'll go look at Terrence Crawford. I'm constantly fighting these demons. Stay ready, I know that they scheming. They want my life on my freedom. Silent killer, you know how I treat them. I'm constantly fighting these demons. I know that I won't be defeated. Ain't running cause ain't no retreating. So love was all that I needed. I'm constantly fighting these demons. Stay ready, I know that they scheming. They want my life for my freedom. Silent killer, you know how I treat them. Steady fighting like a fugitive. Making moves like a fugitive. Tell he new I ain't new to this. I don't trust.